Alright, hello everyone. So I'm here to review my First Chef Pro um, peeler here. Here's my old one. It's a really cheap one. I don't really have much that's expensive. I'm a college student. And um, it stopped working. I honestly haven't used it all that much um, that I can remember. And I can't... Yeah, I can't get it to peel at all. It's just, yeah, not catching. So here is my new one. There are two different blades on each side. And we'll see how each works. So we're going to go with the normal one right here. Oh, see, that catches just fine. So it's not just me. You can see that, and you can see the lines there. All right, go get those off. And I'm really, like, not even messing with you guys. There we go. We're able to uh, cut off. Yeah, so you can see the issues with my old one. It is a really cheap one. Um, obviously, it doesn't cut that great anymore and takes a lot longer. So I'm really hoping this one will last a lot longer than my last one because I don't use them all that often for it to go dull like that. See that? Okay. So let's see what this one does. So you guys can see how easily... That just peels everything. Now it does leave like these little lines. Can you see that? That doesn't bother me at all. This one, maybe that's the issue with it cutting is it doesn't have those lines. So it doesn't really have much to grip onto. Which is probably why it didn't last that long. Who knows. Look at that. Another thing that's always a plus, this one has it, but you see how it kind of curves with it. This one does as well. It goes a lot further than the other one, though. Alright, so there you go. You can see that it does work pretty well for me. The only thing is maintaining the sharpness. and I mean, I'll update my reviews for whatever reason this does not maintain the sharpness. Um, but... You know, who knows how long that'll be. I don't use it all that often, like I said. So, there you go. I hope that helps you.